Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here today and joining us to learn how to make your first $100 on Beacons. We are so excited to be doing this event and Ben and Lindsay have some really awesome presentations for you guys to teach you all about um, the Beacon store and why it matters. So we are um, a couple minutes past three o'clock uh, and we are going to go ahead and get started. I see that there was a question here. Um, should we take notes or will there be a replay? The replay will be available right here on this registration page as soon as the event ends. So um, you can take notes if you want to, but all of the information will be available uh, as soon as the event is over. So you can always come back and watch it. And with that, uh, I'm just gonna give a quick introduction of all of us. So I'm Isabel, I'm the community manager. Um, if you are a member of our Beacons Creators community, you probably have seen me posting or emailing in there. Um, and if you're not, we'll drop a link because we would love for anybody who is here today to join the community. Um, and leading this amazing presentation today, I have uh, with me here Ben, our head of customer success, and Lindsay, our store product manager. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I'll let you guys say your introductions and hellos when you get started on your pieces. Um, but just a quick look at the agenda for today. Um, so what are we talking about? Uh, we're here to talk about why digital products matter and how you can figure out what your digital product should be. Um, and also to tell you how, how do you set that up on the Beacon store and start selling and earning money today? And then of course, we'll have time for Q&A so that we can take all of your questions and really help you out specifically. Uh, Plus, we have a special guest, our, um, one of our wonderful creators who sells products on the Beacon store. Braylon has agreed to be here with you guys today um, and to share a little bit about what that process and experience has been like for her. So to get things started, I'm going to kick it over to Ben, who's going to share about um, what and why to sell. And we're going to switch presentations here. So Ben is going to put his up. Awesome. Yeah. But before I get started, everyone just want to introduce myself. Like uh, Isabel said, I'm Ben. Uh, I lead career success and support at Beacons. Uh, I was actually like one of the first employees at Beacons, employee number three, um, just celebrated my second anniversary at the company. So I've been around here quite a while, all the way from, you know, just when we were Lincoln Bio to, you know, about seven people total on the team to now we are a team of 44 full-time employees and contractors um, based in the SF Bay area. Um, so super excited to be here with you all today. Um, you know, our store product is somewhat new at Beacons, um, and I've been working closely with Lindsay and her team over the past couple months to really kind of, you know, bring this product from zero to one. And I'm really excited to show it all to you. Her team has worked extremely hard. You know, some of her engineers and designers are in the chat. So, you know, if you do see something that you really like, uh, you know, please let them know because um, we've all worked really hard on this and we're excited to show it to you today. Um, but before we get to that, you know, really want to introduce someone who, you know, was actually one of like the first sellers we saw on Beacons, um, who really just, you know, started crushing it. You know, Braylon came to us, you know, we saw her um, selling a ton on Beacons and we were like, hey, we got to reach out to this person. She's absolutely crushing it. And we got to, and you know, we want, and that's kind of how our friendship started with Braylon. Um, so thought she'd be the perfect person to bring up here today. So we can have a quick conversation about her, you know, her background, why she started selling and everything like that. Um, so please give it up for Braylon. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, ex excited for this as well. I know we've done, uh, we've had a couple conversations, but never with like an audience like this before. So I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. Awesome. Um, you know, first question, I, I, you know, I've asked you this before, but you know, would love you know for you to share with the audience. You know, could you tell us about yourself? You know, the kind of content you make. You know, how long you've been a creator, and just kind of you know, kind of your journey as a content creator. Yeah, so I started creating content in 2019 um, with Sims 4 was my niche, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, and I made Sims 4 content roughly until about maybe January of this year, um, mm -hmm. which I got kind of bored of the game, which if you're, you've are you ever been a gaming content creator, when you get bored of the game, um, it sucks because you don't want to make videos for it. So, mm -hmm. But I knew that I had the passion for making videos, so I decided to kind of jump ship um, after a lot of thought and switched to making um, ADHD and Notion content now, which is what I do primarily, um, and sell digital products that go along with that. 
So um, yeah, I really just love making videos and sharing my experiences with people. And so um, connecting with people via TikTok is super fun. And this whole business venture has just been an absolute blast so far. Thanks largely to you guys too. So awesome. Awesome. Uh, currently, what are you playing now? What's your, like, you know, your go-to game? Um, sadly, I actually don't have one. <laughs> I've been like slacking <laughs> so hard on playing games, but I did. I have been playing Fall Guys again recently. Um, and so that's been pretty fun. Just kind of like a casual little at the end of the night, I'll play a few games. But um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm on a gaming break and I don't know when that will end, but I'm hoping sometime soon. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, I know there's a there's a ton of new stuff coming out in 2024. I've been seeing like um, some pretty awesome trailers. So hopefully you'll, you'll get back into it soon. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I've been playing a lot of Clash of Clans myself. That's been like my go to just it's on my phone. You know, I can play it whenever. Oh, I nice. <laughs> I know that I get those ads on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, next question I have for you is, you know, um, what inspired you to kind of, you know, start selling digital products? What was that moment of like, oh, you know, maybe, you know, I should turn this into a product and, you know, start and begin to sell it. What was that moment for you? Um, so I had been making Notion templates for free and selling them like on my Ko-Fi when I was doing Twitch and streaming and stuff. Um, and I started having people and it was like, I just was like, I'm making Notion templates. I'm just going to put them up there. And I started having people be like, these are really good and you're helping me a lot. And, um, that was like at the same time that I kind of started to get bored of making gaming content. So I was like, wait a mm. second, what if I completely just jump ship, stopped all my gaming stuff and moved over to, you know, more of a content business, um, creating content to sell products. So that's kind of um, uh, what got me there and, you know, made me make a hop over. I just, it was a, a boredom and I also had an excitement for this new thing. And I was like, wait a second, let's put these together and we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> awesome yeah so it sounded like it, it came out like a great time for you um yeah. also big shout out to notion that's like what our in entire company runs on so, so highly good. highly recommend notion uh to anyone who's looking for like a tool um definitely check them out also Braylon has some great templates to get started as well <laughs> um you know another question i have for you you know how did you begin after you you know let's say you, you made these templates and you know, primarily notion you know how did you go about marketing them or you know how did you like think about that or what was that kind of process like for you um, yeah, so when I started selling, I knew absolutely nothing about selling. I didn't know anything about sales psychology. I was like, I have this product. I feel like it's really good. I'm just going to go for it. So I actually started on Twitter um, because there was a huge Notion community on Twitter. And I thought, you know, there's probably a lot of things I can learn here. Um, so that was how I kind of got my foot in the door. But as soon as Beacons, you guys released your store, I was like, oh, this is going to change things. And that's kind of when it really accelerated me. And when I decided to also hop on TikTok. Um, so TikTok is my primary way that I market to people. Um, mm -hmm. And I funnel them straight from my TikTok profile right to my Beacon store page. So um, it's all very mobile friendly and works out really nicely. Awesome. Awesome. Love to hear it. Um, and, you know, with like the actual marketing, um, what have you found to be like the most successful, like, way to market is it like you're posting like an instagram story or tiktok story are you you know doing like an email blast about it are you you know making a video using it what's kind of been what have you found like the most success um, in marketing the product with yeah so first things first i would always find out where your audience is what platform are they on depending on who you're marketing to i was <laughs> marketing towards adhd primarily women but anyone can use my templates um who are age 25 to 35 and TikTok is their home. I always call TikTok um, the dopamine slot machine um, because it tends Ooh, to really that suck, term. <laughs> it tends to really suck in ADHD people um, because it's just like you know dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. And so um, finding the platform that your people are on is is the number one thing I would suggest doing. And then um, my other biggest tip is I don't actually make any videos that are like here is my product and this is what I sell. I just mm -hmm. include my products in my videos and then kind of share stories about how Notion in general has helped me. My number one thing is I I don't want to like sell to people like, you know, hey, this mm -hmm. is my product, but download it. Instead, I want them to see something in the background or hear me talking about how Notion has changed my life. And I want them to ask me, like, what are you using? What system are you using? Or just, you know, get curious enough to go to my website. 
Um, and I think that's a way more successful way than just like pounding the pavement with like, this is my product, buy it. Um, and it's worked out really well for me so far. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That was actually one of the questions I was going to ask you is, you know, like how do you maintain your authenticity and like providing value and entertainment to your audience while also not overselling them and just every video is an ad about buying your product. So that sounds like you found a great balance. Yeah. A long time ago, I watched a video by JT Barnett. Um, he's a great guy, TikTok guru kind of advice giver. Um, and he <laughs> was the one that said, don't make videos about your products. Just have your products in your videos. So that's mm -hmm. kind of an easy way to think about that. You're not actually making a video like about your product. It, you just want it to be in there so that people get curious and they'll ask you about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a that's a great piece of advice. there. Love, love yeah. that. Um, you know, my next question for you is, you know, I know you have, I think probably at this point, dozens of products um, that you sell that are Notion templates. Um, you know, how and when do you decide um, it's time to make a new Notion template? Or do you just like say like, hey, I'm trying to make one every single week? What's kind of that um, like product development for you? Um, so before I had a business mentor, I was just like a, a baker who wanted to, you know, be in the kitchen. Um, I was constantly making notion templates because that that's a fun part. That's what I love to do. Um, okay. since getting a business mentor, he kind of told me like, whoa, pump the brakes on like making so many products. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, because it, it's hard for people to choose when, when you have, you know, you go to my website and there's nine or 12 products that becomes a way bigger decision fatigue. Um, so I actually recently just took everything that I've made and bundled them into three different products. Um, and mm -hmm. I have like a light version an essentials version and a plus. Um, and since doing that, I think that's probably one of the most helpful things. And there's some sales psychology on actually having three options. Um, for products because people will look at the low one and they'll say, mm, I don't really think I, I want that one. Mm -hmm. They'll look at the bigger one and say like, well, that might be too much. And they'll, you know, it's like Goldilocks. They'll always end up on the middle one. Um, mm -hmm. Or like, you know how when you go to the movies and they're like small popcorn, medium popcorn, large popcorn, you're going to pick the large because it's, it's the best. They only upped it by like 20 cents. So yeah. having <laughs> fewer choices and, and that definitely, um, is something that helps. And if you are somebody like me who really wants to um, just like keep making your products because you love it, figure out a way to to sort of group them and bundle them so that you just have those three bundles. I, it's yeah, I've been way more successful going from nine products to three was very helpful. So interesting. That's all. That's awesome to hear. I love yeah, definitely feeling on that like decision fatigue for sure. That's something, you know, at Beacons we're just working on as well. Like, you know, making it really simple for like any product we have, you know, there's like three tiers for it. It's like you're free, you're intermediate, and then you're pro. So that's awesome. Yeah. Here. It's worked out for you as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, another question I have for you, uh, last two, um, you know, what would, what advice would you give to, you know, an aspiring content creator who's looking into the, looking to venture into the realm of, you know, selling digital products or even just like making the first one? Um, something that I think a lot of people get caught up on is they hear digital products and they think that's an easy way to make money. And it can be, but that should absolutely not be a reason for going into it at all. So if you're going to sell digital products and you're like, I just want to make money, you're probably not going to be that successful. I would say instead, if you do want to sell digital products, focus on what you can provide for people, how you can help them and make sure that it is something that you are passionate about. Um, because if you're just like, oh, I just want to like make Canva assets and sell them and I'm not really that passionate about it. Um, that's going to come through in your marketing and it's it's people are going to be able to tell that there's a lack of passion there. So I think that's one of the things that has made me so successful in this venture is that I'm so excited about it and so passionate about it. It keeps me up at night. I want to talk to all my friends and family about it. Um, it's just like constantly something that's that's in my brain. And I think that's the real um, thing that you're going to need to be successful. So. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely, definitely hear the passion from you for sure. Um, you know, and fi final question for you, you know, why did you uh, choose Beacons to sell? Um, so I initially was not on beacons when I first started selling, I was using a different link in bio. Um, but the funny thing is while I was a gaming creator, um, I had used beacons the entire time. And I think I was probably one of the earlier adopters to beacons, um, with my gaming content. And I just absolutely loved you guys from a link in bio perspective. 
Um, mm -hmm. And so then when I saw that you had a store, I was like, oh, okay, this is game changing. I'm hopping right on there. And it was just because I, I mean, I knew you, I was comfortable with you. I knew that you offered a good product. Your media kit um, as a gaming creator was able to get me huge sponsorships. Um, it was something that was so helpful. So I knew that when you opened up a store, it was going to be good. It was just going to be easy. It was going to be, you know, something that really worked for me. And um, mm -hmm. so that's why, yeah, I, I was like, oh, okay. I'm right there as soon as I saw that you guys had a store. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Well, th thank you so much for that, Braylon. I don't know if you see this, but everyone is really big on your mic right now. Everyone yes. Um, <laughs> it's an Audio Technica and it's the, they probably, mine's like four years old now, so they probably have a new one, but it's their USB. It's like Audio Technica USB 2.0 something, but Audio Technica makes really affordable, great mics. So yeah, go check it out. Not sponsored. <laughs> All right. You got you to drop the affiliate link if you have one in the chat. <laughs> I need to message them and get one because that, yes, would be great. <laughs> well, well, Braylon, thank you uh, so much for being on here with us today and, and answering my questions. We, re we really appreciate it. Um, excited for, you know, like the future of, you know, selling on beacons and what, what other Notion templates you have come, uh, come out as well, which is really awesome. Uh, looking forward to those. Hope, hopefully one day we can start using those at beacons too. Hey, yeah. You know, I actually just ventured into creating custom templates for people. So if anybody is looking for a oh. system made for them, let me know. I'll make one specifically for you. So, <laughs> Love that. Love that. Uh, let me go to the next slide here. Yeah, so if anyone wants to um, connect with Braylon, here is the link to her Beacons page. You can also scan this QR code, and you'll be taken directly to her page. Um, but I think she also just has a fantastic looking Beacons page. Definitely, like, you know, top 1% of, like, just aesthetic, nice looking pages. Um, she has a ton of reviews there. You know, I think it does a, a really clean job. So if you're looking for inspiration on how to make a great looking Beacons page that also converts well and sells, um, would we'll definitely check out her page. But again, Braylon, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, always great to see you and catch up with you. Um, and yeah, again, thank you. Yeah, this was so fun. Thank you, everyone. And I hope I gave some helpful insights to you on your digital product journeys. Awesome. Well, thank you. Well, um, we'll go ahead and kind of move on, move along things here. Uh, we'll kind of go to my um, presentation now, um, talking about, you know, why you should sell um, digital products. You know, I think this is, you know, probably going to be like a, a pretty simple sales pitch. I think, you know, everyone is here. They probably have some type of interest, in, you know, wanting to sell digital products, why it's important. Um, so, I, um, so yeah, just want to quickly go over with everyone, you know, what, what I think are like the top seven reasons why um, to sell You diversify your income, you know, profit margins are better. Um, you can scale them easily on like a physical pr product. Um, you know, you can generate passive income while you sleep. Um, you can help establish authority, which I think is a lesser known and talked about benefit. Um, it can also help you uh, content uh, re with repurposing. And then finally, you can start doing it today. Um, literally like right after this call if you wanted to. Um, so, why, but why, David? Let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so yeah, diversifying your income stream. I think, you know, we all are on social media constantly. You know, we all see what's going on with TikTok in the United States. Twitter slash X is actually their office is right down the street from us in San Francisco. So we like literally see what's going on um, at that at that company day to day. Um, so I think you know it's a very unstable time for social media platforms um, today in the world. Um, so we think you know um, because of that, you know, a lot of creators rely on their brand deal income. Um, which can be difficult because, you know, a platform can get banned, it could go away, you can get kicked off, you know, the algorithm could be taken down that month, whatever it may be. Um, so we think it's a great way to insulate yourself and de-risk from having to rely on the platform as your main uh, source of income. Um, another example is, you know, let's say you, you are doing physical merch. Well, you know, there's weather events happening, there's shipping delays, things like that. You know, that could, so, like supply chain could just mess you up as well. Um, and then finally, you know, we think it can help you have a more predictable month to month income so that, you know, as a content creator, you know, you can confidently say, oh, I'm going to make X amount of dollars this month so that can help you budget, you know, pay the rent, you know, pay off other expenses, whatever it may be. Um, so, yeah, that's um, diversifying your income. Also, if anyone has any questions while this is going on, please make sure to use the Q&A chat. Uh, Isabel, if anything does come up please let me know, happy to, to try and answer them live. Or um, if I can't do it right now, we'll definitely answer in a follow-up email too. 
Yeah, we do have a couple of questions. Um, mm -hmm. One is, do we share any commissions with beacons when we make a sale? Um, so I, I think like that's probably like fees, maybe is that what the person is asking about is the, the fees of it? Um, yeah, or if we take a percentage of the sale. Yeah, so we do, um, Beacons, we do have a store pro plan and a store uh, free plan. So our, our pro plan costs $10 a month. Um, and with that, you get no fees associated with, with it as long as some, as well as some other benefits too. Um, now on our free plan, we do take a 9% uh, transaction fee on the product. So, you know, if you sell, you know, a product for $1, we're going to take 9 cents on that transaction. And then also as well, the payment processors have their own fees associated with them too, uh, which Beacons has no control over. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, another logistical question, how does tax work when I become a seller in Beacons? And if this mm -hmm. person wants to chime in, if you meant like sales tax on products or are you paying your own taxes as a creator, mm -hmm. um, we can answer more specifically, but broadly from each of those mm -hmm. perspectives. Yeah, yeah, that's a great question about the taxes. Um, currently today, there's not, like a formal accounting for that in, in our store with the taxes. Um, that is something we are um, looking into adding in the future because we know that has come up with creators, um, especially across like the EU, dealing with the VAT tax and things like that. Uh, so currently not not there yet, but it definitely is on our product roadmap. Maybe Lindsay can talk more about that when she comes up, up here, um, but definitely something our team is, is thinking about and we do recognize it is, it is a feature we need to have with the store. Cool. Thank you. And one I wanted to just address, is this a partnership with Notion? Um, no, Beacons is not. Uh, we don't have a formal partnership affiliation with Notion. Braylon was just a creator who happens to sell Notion products. Um, but you can sell anything on Beacons. It does not have to be related to Notion. Um, and we will talk about some of the different examples and other kinds of things that you can sell. Uh, there's one, there's a couple more Uh but I'm going to hold this one, I think, until later in the presentation. Okay. I'll let cool. you keep going. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Great questions, everyone. Um, this, you know, I feel like this helps me make my presentation better as well. So please keep them coming. Um, number two, you know, you keep majority of profits. Um, you know, if you're selling a digital product, you know, such as, you know, Braylon's, like we said, you know, if you're paying $10 a month for the transaction uh, for the store pro plan, you know, you get to keep all that profit besides maybe one to 2% from a payment processor. So, you know, your profit margins are really high. Um, like as they can be 90% plus. Um, on the flip side, I used to work in the hospitality industry. Um, so I was in restaurants and hotels. Um, and it was a, a good restaurant would bring, you know, three to 4% of their profit margin uh, would become net income. So a uh, very different world when you're dealing with the digital versus physical products. Um, number two, you know, I saw there was a question about physical goods. Um, you know, physical goods, um, I think is a lot of people what their first instinct is to, is to go to merch, hats, water bottles, stickers, et cetera. Um, but to set that up is pretty time consuming and there, you have to deal with the entire supply chain. Yes, now there are companies out there who do um, support that with creators that they do, they do provide like, you know, drop shipping services and, you know, you basically just attach your name to a storefront and you start selling. Um, but again, you know, they're going to take most of the profits um, from, from those options. So, you know, again, with a digital product, you don't have to worry about fulfillment, manufacturing, storing, shipping, et cetera. You know, all you need is an email and a storefront and you're ready to go. Um, and finally, you know, in, intangible goods can be applied to any niche. So, you know, whether you're a sports creator or a cooking creator or a business creator or personal finance, um, you know, there's a digital product out there that your audience can demand um, and that you can create for them. All right. So, yeah, you can be like Mr. Krabs and get showered in money. Um, keep going, Isabel. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, number three, which I think this is a huge one that is not talked about enough. Um, you can scale them really easily. Um, take, for example, you know, you're a bakery owner. You know, if you have one day you get 10 people come to your restaurant and the next day you get 10,000, you know, you're not going to be able to serve all of those guests efficiently. Um, and you're going to be losing out on revenue and profits. Um, but with a digital product, you know, whether you make one sale in a day or, you know, one million sales in a day, you're going to be able to make those sales happen regardless um, because the product is identical and reusable and it, it, you've made it once and it's ready to go. Um, another huge benefit is, you know, you can get paid for over and over for a one-time effort. So, you know, you might take you one, two, three hours, 
make a resume template, but then you're able to have that resume template make money for you year after year after year. Um, another big point, number three, is global reach. Um, you're no longer limited to, you know, who walks by your store or, you know, who, who is in the same town as you. You can sell products to people overseas as well and across the world that you'd never be able to reach to um, if you were just dealing with uh, physical products. Um, another huge benefit, like we said, the scalability, you never run out of stock, you know, as long as your item is uploaded on your store, you know, anyone can have access to it and buy it. Um, however, on the other side, you can make it, you can artificially um, add that scarcity into it. So for example, if you want to do consultation calls in a day and, you know, you only want to do four, you can make that as well um, an option. But generally speaking, digital products um, never run out. And then number, uh, the last one, last point is um, you can make as many as many variants as possible. You know, you don't need a whole new machine to print a new color t-shirt. You know, you can make a, a product for, you know, a weekly template in Notion, and then you can also turn that into a monthly template. You know, you can make it for the fall and spring. Um, so it's very easy to, once you have a core product, come up with different variants, different colors, different flavors of it. Um, again, a benefit of a digital product. Um, and so, yeah, you can really scale and escalate quickly. Um, number four, um, I think a lot of people think about this, Braylon mentioned it, is, is passive income. You know, these products are on your store and they're making money for you while you sleep 24-7. Um, the caveat I will say is um, we do see people um, when they when they are selling, they get the most sales when they are talking about them. So what we see oftentimes is someone will make an Instagram story and there'll be a spike in sales on their Beacon store, for example. So. Um, I will say that it's, you know, you do make the most sales when you're talking about it and it's top of mind for people, um, but that always isn't the case. Um, and then another, another way to generate, you know, passive income is I think it can really help, um, you know, complement those other passive income streams that creators often have, like affiliate links or, or like the Beacons referral program, shout out that, we just re revamped that. And then also, you know, credit card signups through Chase and things like that. So a bunch of different options there too. Um, so yeah, you can be like Jim Halper and be making money while you're sleeping. Um, number five, this is one I think that goes really underrated um, and not something people think about. Um, but when you do create these products, you establish authority. You put your name out there and saying, hey, uh, I know what I'm talking about. You know, I make the best, you know, resume templates. So, you know, people should come to me for, you know, resume coaching or, you know, it can lead to speaking gigs or it can even help, you know, attract more followers if you're, you know, a well-known thought leader or someone in the space. Uh, and then finally, um, that can also help you grow your authority further and then help you um, land more brand deals as well, because brands see you as an authority figure and that's um, someone they would want to work with in their business. Um, cool. Uh, number six, repurposing content. I think this is a huge one. Um, and I think this kind of goes back to my point of, you know, you can start doing this today. Um, so for example, you know, you can breathe new life into content. I'm sure all of you here today have videos out there online that you know you could have posted a week, a month, a year ago that can be turned into some type of niche uh, content guide. So for example, um, I worked with a creator a couple months ago. She is into going to comic cons and, and just conventions of that nature. Um, so one thing people always ask her is like, how do you pack for this? What do you bring? Do you bring a portal battery? Do you bring, you know, band-aids, lipstick, wh whatever you need? And she was able to put together a packing list for her audience and that's something they asked for. And, you know, she she had a digital product right there. So um, I think that's really a great way that you can turn it into that. And then finally as well, if you're doing coaching sessions, you can work the other way. You can take your coaching session and turn that into a digital product. So for example, if you do some kind of, you know, worksheet on an initial call with someone, you can turn that into a template or guide that you sell to someone. Um, so, you know, the knowledge exists out there, just more so how do you repackage it from, you know, a short video to, you know, a YouTube video to some kind of PDF, digital download guide, et cetera. Um, I think there's a bunch of different great ways you can do that. You know, one example I've seen is people are using ChatGPT, taking the script of a YouTube video, putting that into ChatGPT and telling it to spit out, you know, a nicely sorted guide with like three bullet points on how to do X. Um, so super simple and you can do it today. Um, yeah. And Perfect transition. You can start doing it today. Um, you all have an audience here on this call. You are all content creators. Um, and that's really um, opposite from how traditional businesses function today. Um, most businesses do not have a built-in audience. It's businesses start with a product and then they have to go and find their audience. Whereas content creators are the opposite. You have the audience today, but it's now coming up with the product. 
Um, so yeah, you all make content. You know, this is just, I think, a different form for you. Instead of, you know, making a TikTok video, you're making a quick PDF download that you can share. Um, you know, everyone here has expertise in their niche, whether, you know, you're a food creator, you're an athlete, you know, you're a mom creator, you know, any type of niche has implicit knowledge that you can share with your audience that they are that they really want. Um, and then finally, you know, Beacons has everything you need today to start selling. Uh, Wendy's going to go over that more, but just wanted to reiterate that. Um, and we're here to support you through that. So let's go. Uh, so I want to give you all kind of some next steps here about how, you know, you can start selling today on Beacons. Um, so Lindsay's going to talk more about how you can actually sell. Um, but if anyone has any questions or needs help getting started, uh, I've helped dozens of creators, Braylon included, um, as well. So you can send me an email at ban at beacons.ai. Um, you can also scan this QR code for a ton of resources from our team. Um, and then also everyone today can get can use the code store webinar for two months free on our Beacon Store Pro plan, um, which I'm really excited about. And that, that coupon only lasts for a week. Um, so hopefully you can all jump on that uh, soon. Um, but thank you all for the time today. I saw a ton of questions come in the chat. Um, so want to make sure I answer at least some of these if they make sense before we pass them over to Lindsay. Um, so Isabel, could you help me with that, please? Yes, I just popped one up on the screen here. Uh, can you explain the psychology and benefit of putting free items in your beacon stores? Um, and are we able to send reminder emails to buy paid items? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. This is this is something I do advise people on. Um, you know, so, so let's say for today, for example, maybe you're not comfortable, you know, selling a five, fifteen, twenty dollar notion guide to your audience. That's okay. You know, uh, something that Lindsay and I advise a lot of creators on is creating something called a lead magnet, which is essentially a free product that you that you give out to your audience um, that has some type of information. It doesn't have to be a lot. You know, I've literally told people you can put in five bullet points and a picture um, in a PDF. And people will give their email up for that. Um, so the point of that is really just kind of creating, starting that relationship with your with your audience, and really starting to own that. So again, you know, not to plug our email marketing product, but you can do that on Beacons as well. So you can own that audience. Um, so no matter what happens with the algorithm that week or that platform this year, um, you you can still have that direct relationship with your audience, no matter what you go. Um, so you really have like no matter what happens, you have control over that relationship. Um, so I think there's a huge benefit to having a free lead magnet. Um, I think also as well, you don't have to, you know, start selling a, a paid product today. Um, you know, you could you could just start collecting emails today with a free product. And then three months to a year from now, you can start, you know, selling that paid product once you feel like you're comfortable to sell that. Um, as far as reminders go, yes, you are able to segment groups of audience members in Beacon so that Anyone who has purchased a free digital download from you, you can offer them an upsell email that says like, hey, I noticed you, you know, you purchased my free digital download a couple of weeks ago. Here's a coupon to go and purchase, you know, one of my paid products. Um, yeah, Braylon actually does that herself. Um, so if you want to try that, you can check out one of her free digital downloads and then you can go see what her kind of uh, sequence looks like. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Lindsay is currently answering this one in the chat. We support PayPal and Stripe. If there are other payment processors you're interested in, drop them in the chat and we will look into it. Yep. And one more that I'm going to save for Lindsay. So if you guys have more questions for Ben or if you think of other things you want to ask him, um, he'll be back. He'll be in the chat and then we'll have a little Q&A section at the end after we chat with Lindsay. So big round of applause. Thank you so much, Ben. This was amazing. Um, I always learn so much from you, and I love hearing about uh, all of the creators that you work with to set up the store and store products. So this was super valuable, and uh, we're, we're so grateful you were here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for helping to organize this, Isabel. And yeah, please, anyone, uh, my email is there. You know, my, my whole job at Beacons is to make sure our creators succeed. So really want to help as many of you as I can do that. So please reach out, send me an email, use our resources. You know, I'm here to support you. Amazing. Thank you. Um, so we've taken a look with Ben, you know, at why you should sell digital products and what you should sell. Uh, and now I'm excited to have Lindsay here with me to talk about how and how specifically do you do this and set this up on Beacons. So welcome, Lindsay, and um, feel free to introduce yourself and take it from here. Thank you so much, Isabel. I'm 
hopefully going to share my window and it's going to come up. Um, amazing. Great. Uh, hi, everyone. I am Lindsay. I'm the store product manager here at Beacons, and I'm just going to do a quick product walkthrough. Um, definitely don't have time to go through everything today, so hope is just to touch on some highlights, and then if anyone has any questions, I'm happy to dive deeper or you know revisit anything. So please let me know. Um, great. So what are we going to talk about today? Uh, basically, three categories of things. And that really highlight why you should sell on beacons. The first is easy setup. Second are we've really invested in features that help you maximize your sales. Uh, we want to be your sales partner. We want to be here for you. Uh, so anything we can do to make your life easier, make you more successful as a seller of digital products, we want to do that. And last but not least, uh, Ben's already sort of answered a question relating to this, but we are an all-in-one platform. And I think that part of the magic and amazing part of Beacon Store is how well it integrates and how well it works with our link in bio and our email. So I'm going to touch a little bit on that. So starting with easy setup, I could talk about it, but I could also prove it. So we're going to do a live demo and hope things go well. Uh, so this is our example creator. Uh, this is Sell Cool Things. She's a digital sales coach. She has a free product, an advanced seller guide, and you can also book a one-on-one -on -one consultation session. So this is her link in bio. She's doing great. Um, and now we check out her store. So this is her store app, and you can see her three products. We want to make a new product. We're going to go ahead. Uh, you can sell appointments, and you can also sell digital products. Today, I'm going to test out selling a digital product. So right off the bat, you can see we go ahead and your store product page is actually going to automatically match your link in bio. Uh, but say you don't want that, you can go ahead and change it. There are all sorts of fantastic themes and then customizing the color and fonts. Uh, I know creators care a lot about what the visual aesthetics of their products look like. So I want to give you guys the flexibility to really make this feel like yours. Um, but starting with the product basics, today we're going to sell... Uh, I'm going to cheat here because I have this written down because I typing under uh, while live causes me stress. So we're going to have 50 digital product ideas to create and sell today. This is going to be a guide. Um, I'm sure you all have your own images for your product, but if you didn't, you could take a look at the stock images and look for a computer. Maybe um, this girl looks studious. She will be our seller of digital products. Now we get onto the description. Um, this can be really difficult. We know we've talked to a lot of creators who feel like this is a really big challenge. And so something we're really excited about is the AI generation options that we have throughout our product. And one of the places we do this is in store. So say, I don't know what to write. I don't know how to make an optimized description. I can just pop in a list of 50 products for creators to start selling and earn passive income. That's what this guide is going to be. And it's now going to generate this. This is the moment of truth where this is going to hopefully go on a live demo. Uh, but we're really trying to integrate this throughout the product because this can be a stopping point, a blocking point, difficult part to get over. And so how can we make this easier? How can we give you guys an idea to just at least get started and get the ball moving? Um, and here we are. We have a fantastic product description. Um, I can go ahead and edit this, or in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Um, maybe format it a bit and add some bullet points. Uh, now I can go and add a file or a link. Um, however, if you want to say like give them a download, a PDF, or if you just have a URL to say uh, your Google Drive or uh, a Canva, I'm just going to link to beacons.ai for the sake of this. So you input your URL, your fan's going to get this when they buy your product. You input a price and make this $5.99 and you're done. You have created your product. You can go ahead and look at the product page. Somebody could go out and buy this right now. Um, but what happens if, hey, you're like Braylon, you sell elsewhere, and you actually already have your thing set up on Etsy. Say this is your small business training workbook. Uh, you don't want to go through typing all that again. Well, we have an answer for you. Um, you're going to go to import product. You are going to input your URL. Uh, currently, we support Etsy, Shopify, Gumroad, and Stan. And there's a little bit of help here in terms of what URLs to grab. You're going to click import. Magic's going to happen. And here you have it. Your product page is ready to go. Your description's been copied. All of your product images have been transferred. 
all you have to do is upload your file because obviously we can't get that um and you're ready to sell on beacons so you are all set so it is literally that easy to create a product um what about all these other things you may be asking don't have time to go over those live so we are going to go back to the slideshow and do a little highlight reel um on how beacons can help you sell and kind of go into these advanced features uh, first and foremost, I kind of touched on this, but the customization tools, we're really excited about this. We think that it's something, and we've heard from feedback that people are excited by, people really like. We're actually going to be rolling out even more options in terms of different templates for your product pages in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Um, we also have our mobile optimized link in bio storefront. Um, and you can see that you have a lot of options, again, as to how you can display your storefront, how you can really sell your products and make them stand out in your LinkedIn bio. And it's super easy to just add this over. You can actually create products directly from in your LinkedIn bio. So no worrying about someone having to go to a different site to buy your product. It's all seamless. Um, really, pricing is a whole science and an art. Uh, we know that it's a great way to drive scarcity and it's a great way to drive sales. And so we want to give you the most options possible. Uh, so we have the option to apply discount codes, you know, reward your early fans. As Braylon mentioned, she provides a discount code after people download her free product. You can also put your product on sale and this also will appear on your link in bio. So people are incentivized to, you know, grab it before it goes to full price. As well as if you're starting with free products and maybe you're a little bit nervous about starting to charge people, or you don't know how much to charge for pe people, you can do a pay what you want or a name your own price. And basically you're going to set a minimum. And then you can also set the suggested price. If people say zero, it'll be a free download. They can also tip you. Um, we've actually seen a lot of creators have great success with this. Uh, we've had fans donate to create, basically donate or tip creators like 50 bucks for free downloads because they just thought it was that useful and that exciting. Um, so definitely something to explore. Uh, we also have re reviews and customer inquiries. Um, social proof sells, we know this. So when someone gets your product and it's emailed to them, they will also receive a link to leave you a review. And you'll get an email that they've left a review and also be able to see them in the product itself. And then it's basically a one click. You can just add it to product and it will appear on your PDP page. So the integration is really smooth. Um, and also because you have their email, you can reach out to them. If someone does leave you say a more negative review, you can follow up and understand, hey, what went wrong? How can I improve this product? Um, we also know that communication after product is one, but before the product is actually purchased, that communication can often be equally as important. So we have a really exciting feature, which is allowing your customers to actually ask you questions directly from the product page. So if you enable this, this little questions or feedback uh, will appear under your product page. I actually have an example right here. So this is Keegan. He's one of our creators. Um, he sells Lightroom presets, and he has his questions or feedback right here. Um, and he often gets people asking about like, you know, how does this work or can I download it? Does it work with this version of Lightroom, et cetera? And so the inquiries show up here, as you can see, and you'll have the option to either mark it as resolved without answering, maybe it's just like a garbage question, or you can actually send the email and respond to the person directly in the UI. So a great way to sort of start that conversation and really engage with fans who might have questions and not purchase otherwise. Lastly, uh, is our ready to share Instagram stories or social assets? As Braylon mentioned, you know, selling your product and talking about it, getting eyeballs on it is a key part to actually being successful selling. And we know that that can be sometimes challenging to come up with that content, et cetera. So we've started with Instagram stories here as we know that they are very high converting, but we're definitely actively looking into other ways that we can help make promoting a product feel less salesy and feel less difficult. Um, but basically in the app, you can just go ahead and uh, click generate social asset and it will will give you a ready to download social uh, sort of an image optimized for Instagram stories. If you're on desktop, you download it on mobile. It's as easy as just like one click share, one click post story or message. Cool. And then lastly, I'm zooming here, um, our all in one platform. So someone asked a question about this already, but I think that one of the really cool parts of the Beacon Store is how smoothly it integrates with email. Um, this is an example actually of Braylon's uh, product launch announcement. So because your whole audience is in one place, you have your email list, you have your products, it's very easy to put a direct link or even drop a preview of the product into your email, send this out as a blast. 
is another example from a creator, uh, Normandy, who was putting a discount on her scholarship ebook that had just launched. Um, and in addition to product launch emails, you can also do follow up drip campaigns. So talking about, you know, why would you have a free download? Because you could, after someone purchases, get my free guide, I could then follow up an email with them with a discount code for more expensive product. Or if they bought my more expensive product, maybe it's a discount code for a one-on-one consulting session. Um, and you can really explore how to drive sales and make someone just an incremental customer and add more value there um, through our email tool. Cool. Uh, covered a lot there. Um, I also realized I didn't put my email in here, but Beacon's emails are simple to remember. It's just lindsay at beacons.ai. I will pop it in the chat. Um, and yeah. Incredible. I don't know if there's any questions or we want to jump into Q&A. Um, there's been some very positive feedback on this portion of the presentation. So thank you so much, Lindsay. It's so cool to see all of the things that Beacons can do and really get that quick rundown um, of how people can like really set this up. Um, and even just like all the little ways, the AI features, the import features that it can be so easy to start using Beacons. Um, so we do have a few questions. Uh, maybe we can just jump into Q&A. We can bring Ben back. And here's one that says, here, we'll, we'll join you. Perfect. Um, so we have gotten actually a number of questions about using beacons outside the US. Um, this is just one of the questions that came up, but there were several about beacons pages um, supporting other currencies, other languages. This one has a little mention of taxes in other countries. What information can we offer these folks? Yeah, I'd say that this is definitely something we are actively looking into. Right now, we only support, well, our product pages only support listing a product in USD, but because we support both PayPal and Stripe as payment processors, if someone from another country is checking out with PayPal, they can actually uh, depending on what country they're in, they can select to be charged in their native currency or in USD through PayPal. Um, so this is something we are continuing to look into and figure out how we can more natively support sales taxes, et cetera. Um, in the US, it's very mismatched by state. So we want to make sure that we have a solution that works broadly for all of our creators and not just like our California or Oklahoma creators before we roll it out. Yeah, so we stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned and we appreciate um, hearing from folks that it's something that they're interested in. It's always good for us really. to know um, that there are people out there who want certain features. Uh, here's a great question about upgrading and potentially making good use of the discount code that Ben had to offer. Um, so what do you do if you have link in bio and you want to upgrade? So I believe if you're on Lincoln or no, so if you're on entrepreneur plan, which is a legacy plan, so I'm not sure when you upgraded, you actually get the benefits of store pro from that. Cause it was like a legacy plan. It kind of like included everything. Now, if you're on store pro today, um, you, it is a separate subscription that you will need to purchase an upgrade for the store pro, um, for store pro. Um, but that you can pay um, $10 for. But with that coupon code I shared with it, um, earlier in my presentation, um, we'll also send that out to everyone as well. You can get two months free uh, on that plan. You also, if you're interested in Lincoln Bio and Store, and Braylon mentioned our media kits as well, um, and email marketing, you can upgrade to the Marketing Pro plan, uh, which is I'm not going to give an exact number because I will definitely mess it up, but there is a discount on that versus buying all of the plans together. Um, and so if you want to upgrade to the marketing bundle, you would do so from the left navigation in the app. And if you want to upgrade apps individually, you'd go to the individual app and there should be an upgrade button in the top navigation. Perfect. Uh, there's one other question here in the chat that says, is there any way to input our Google reviews onto our beacons? Not a small um, question exactly, but. 
Oh, okay. I was going to say like Google reviews for a product, in which case you can like manually add reviews mm-hmm. as well to the product page. But I'm guessing to your point, it's actually like Google reviews of like the page. Um, I guess, can the person who asked that question clarify? <laughs> yes. If you are, if you are out there and you can clarify what exactly you meant by that, we will address it. Anyone else? That's, uh, that's our Q&A. That's our Q&A for today. There's, um, if you have anything else, please drop it in here. We will follow up. We can follow up by email. Um, hopefully you have had a chance to check out Braylon's page. Uh, if you're ever looking for more information, uh, you can try visiting our own, the Beacons Beacons page. Um, there's lots of information and other things on there. And the other thing that I would love for you all to do um, is join us in the Beacons community. So as a community manager, um, that's the space that I really foster for creators to talk to each other about Beacons. And it's a place where you can learn and get a lot of inspiration and talk to people about how they're using their Beacons pages, what you can be selling, what you can be building, how you can um, grow your career as a creator. So there's the link. Um, When this comes up, you'll probably get to a login page and you can click join waitlist. Um, just mention that you were at the webinar today uh, and I will be sure to get you priority access into our community space where you can talk directly to um, the Beacons team as well as other creators. So Ben's in there, Lindsay's in there, I'm in there, we're all around. Um, We answer questions and we would love to see you there. Uh, I did see one question come in just a second ago. Is there an integration with Teachable? Um, Like to pull your products over, if that's what you mean, you can clarify in the chat maybe that's a great question but not today no (laughs) there are we have seen people sort of do some different things either linking directly from their linking bio or um sort of selling teach their teachable course as a link in their beacon store um so or even just doing it as a like free access and then it goes to their teachable um, where they can actually purchase the course to get the emails and get the interest into their email marketing app on the Beacon Store. So there's like different ways depending on exactly the kind of integration you were hoping to do. Uh, So definitely feel free to email us and we can follow up on that one. Sounds great. Um, And there's one final question, which is a perfect closing question, which is will the recording be available to watch after the call? Yes, right here on the landing page, um, the event registration will just convert to a place where you can come and watch the replay. It might not be available like the very minute we log off because it takes a minute to process and upload. Um, But certainly in this afternoon, you should be able to come back to this page and watch the replay and go back. And we will also email all of you with the discount code and how you can access that and be sure to come on to Beacons. Um, I just have to, I'm gonna plug it one more time and drop my link. Please come join us in the community. We would love to see you there. Um, Ben, Lindsay, Braylon, thank you so much for making this possible. Um, Really appreciate all of you here who were in the chat, who were just watching, um, and anybody else who comes back to watch the replay later on. We appreciate you too. So um, huge thanks and huge round of applause to everybody. And we will catch you next time. And just a reminder, all of our emails are just our first name at beacons.ai. So if anyone has questions or follow-up points, uh, please feel free to hit us up. Yes, and the chat does not go anywhere. So if you are looking for a link that we dropped or an email that we posted, you can also always come back to this page where the replay will live, scroll back through the chat and find whatever you're looking for. All right, have a great day, everybody. Bye.